when I'm developing a sermon, I think unless the text brings me there, sometimes I don't know that sort of the, the edge of preaching against the powers or being countercultural in some way um, is going to be a part of the sermon. You know, it's sort of in the evolution of the development of the sermon, it, it evolves and moves in that direction. Um, now, at times, the text itself points in that direction. So, I mean, Joseph and the dreams, his actual dream, I think, does demonstrate the inversion of God's way. Um, but that's not always the case. And so I, I, I think, you know, it prayerfully, carefully. <laughs> Dealing with the status quo. I mean, my, I've been saying since I've been um, at the Duke University Chapel, how does one preach against the powers when one is propped up by the powers? And I think I just live in that tension. Um, it's a tension that, you know, never goes away. But I do think the gospel, the edge of the gospel, um, does call us um, at times. Every sermon's not the same, but does call us to a kind of social critique um, that, you know, it's, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. <laughs>